Hello, welcome to Azure Talk. Once again, here we are with uh, Sachin Kalia. My name is Abhishek Maitre, and I am now speaking to Sachin Kalia, who will tell us about Terraform more in details. And today's topic, I'll discuss with him. Uh, what to be? Hello, welcome, Sachin. Hi, Abhishek. Thank you so much for a warm welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you very much. And how about you? Yeah, all good. Yeah, working okay. from home now. It is probably you will be. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the same year. So Sachin, what have you bring for us today? Uh, yes, uh, I have brought a uh, service principle. How can we create that within Azure? And I'll be using two methods to create that. The first one will be through the Azure CLI and another one will be through the Azure portal. So it would be very uh, better for our viewers if they could know about service principle first. Yeah, sure. So let me share my screen first with you. Yeah. Go. Fantastic. I can see your screen. Yeah, awesome. So uh, service principle is a security identity that is used to create user created apps, services and automation tool to access specific set of Azure resources. And you can consider it as a user identity to log in and the password or certificate with a specific roles. Like uh, we do have various uh, roles available within Azure like reader, contributor and the other global administrator and all. And these are tightly controlled permission to access your resources. So, so you have, once you create a service principle, you can allow a specific user created app with a certain set of permission so that we will see in my practical example i'll be using contributor role uh, for my own purpose because after this demonstration we will be uh, utilizing those credential uh, in order to connect terraform based application to azure to create a certain set of resources so uh, the first one uh, i'll be creating through the azure cli for that i do have my command ready i am already logged in into my azure through easy login or you can utilize easy connect command oh, so Here command is very very big uh, yes uh, i'll be explaining it to you AZ, AD, SP, it means Azure Active Directory, mm -hmm. Service Principal, okay. Create for RVAC. The role will be the contributor, which I was just talking about a while ago. And the scope yeah. should be in which scope we are about to create this. So for this, I, I, I have utilized my own subscription ID and I'll be keeping name Cloud Piper, right? And right. once I execute this, I should get uh, output into in JSON form. That's so it. I have uh, just uh, press entered. I want to make one suggestion. Can you please explain this command in your uh, readme.md sometime later? Yeah, uh, sure. I'll add that. So, so let it yeah. execute first. Yeah. And okay. Yeah, this executed. Yeah, it has been executed and generated few things. Uh, the first one is app ID, display name, name, the password, which can be considered as a secret and the tenant which we are using, right? So as yeah. you can see, it has been created with name of this. Okay, the yeah. display name should be this. So let me jump over mm -hmm. to portal and identify this, uh, whether it has been created or not. So we are, in order to find out, uh, we just have to write app registration, right? Once we have reached there, just identify which we have created, though it should be like, uh, which I have created just a while ago, 23rd of May, 2020. And if I try to find out, yes, this is what we have created, right? So once you open right. that here, here you can see uh, lots of potential information that we will be using in upcoming videos as well. We do have application ID, client ID, we have directory ID, object ID, and the display name is this, right? 
and you can uh, there is one more way to create your password though uh, i'll be explaining that in a bit so it has been created in such a way right so the another way to create that once uh, we have reached here right so go to the app registration as we are already in click on the new registration and like we can learning terra we can assign we can put some name and who can use this application or access this api so for my purpose i have chosen accounts into the organization directory only such in kalia hotmail my this is my tenant account in organizational directory any azure directory it can be for multi tenant accounts in any organizational directory any azure directory multi tenant or personal so for my purpose i have utilized this and i can give some http details you can put as per your need learning terra okay dot com kind of should be starts with it should be start with https yeah and once i click on register it should create one application that which we can see over here it has been created and generated few potential information that can be useful once you authenticate your application third party application with azure so once we have created i'm just copying it its name and going back to home and just entering into subscription you can enter in such a way as well so once you have reached here click on visual studio and go to the access control so why are we here we are here just to provide contributor role to that specific user app which we okay. have recently created okay so this is how you can create our back role uh select a role as you can see we have n numbers of role owner contributor reader arc yeah there are many yeah yeah so for my own purpose i am choosing contributor right and once i find terraform yeah as you can see once i uh, select learning terraform it is there once i select this and allow to save so it has been registered with a contributor role access right so it is good to use uh, for our own purpose right okay once i i'm going back to the app registration and like you can see my own app it is coming under the own application if i click here and you want to create a secret or a password so here you require to go client secret a secret setting that can the application uses to prove its identity when requesting a token and, and it can also be referred as a application password right? right so just click on new client so this is the time which you want to set for how long it will be retained so my is uh, terra password i'm just as soon as click on add it generates certain value terra password right so it is always a best practice to uh, copy as soon as it creates because once you go over from this window it won't be available next time can so we can we, always, can't we recreate it uh you can recreate it but uh, that will be entirely new one okay so it is always best practice copy this and paste it in as per your need and you can utilize it so uh, this is what i wanted to say and uh, here we are so we have received most of the information application client id directory id object id and the, we do have we have already created a password in order to utilize it uh, for the further demonstration which i'll be okay. explaining so this is okay. how you can create service principle and authenticate a specific application in order to create a certain resource within azure great fantastic uh, you have successfully created uh, certificates and secrets can we see this 
certificate and uh, secrets in Terraform as well? Of course, uh, we will be uh, into the upcoming demonstration. I'll be utilizing service principle in order to authenticate Terraform application and okay. how can we utilize them to create a specific resources uh, through Terraform within okay. Azure. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, good Sachin, uh, I can see you have already created app and uh, the service principle through the portal and it would be good if you could prepare one another demonstration for how to utilize this uh, secrets service principles in Terraform. Uh, yeah, expecting sure. expecting it to be soon. Yeah. <laughs> so, sure, uh, I'll be bringing that very soon. Thank you very much Sachin. So concluding the video for the today. For today and uh, we are expecting Sachin to prepare one another session the demonstration for uh, the same activities in uh, Terraform. Thanks Sachin, thanks yes. for your time and yep. if you want to approach Sachin, Sachin can you, can you uh, give your contact details? Yeah you can reach me uh, on my blog which is www.netpiper.com and you can reach me on twitter handle which is at the rate dot net piper. Is this? Yeah. Yeah, this is the same. <laughs> cool. So you anybody can reach Sachin very easily on the Twitter. Uh, his Twitter handle is at the rate.net paper as he elaborated and you can see on the screen as well. And I can also be accessible on uh, Twitter handle at the rate of him at rate. Thank you very much for the day and we'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you, Abhishek. Thank Have you. a happy day. Yeah, you too.